Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a TJ Maxx slash Trader Joe's and as well as an Amazon haul. I did some damage on my lunch break today and I got things for coffee bar organization, but I also wanted to show you guys some gifts I got for my birthday, which was last week on July 11th. Some of my friends and family ordered me a lot of really great gift ideas that you can find on Amazon. So I figured I would just make a whole video dedicated around that and also some behind the scenes organizational things I typically don't show in my house. So if you guys are interested, please keep watching. Okay, I did some damage at TJ Maxx, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. No specific order, I found this at the checkout. Guys, I've seen this on Anthropology, something really similar. It was $8.99. I absolutely love this. I think this is so cute. I'm gonna put this in the bathroom, I think. I'll show you guys how I style it in there, but I am just obsessed. I can't even explain why. I just absolutely love this thing. Um, so that was a good find. And then my big one was this little coffee bar area. This was $29.99. This is the brand. You guys can see. I just loved the silver and I loved the light wood. Um, and I thought it would hold all my stuff nicely. So these are the Tazo teas I just get from Target. And then this was a, a chai tea latte mix that was a gift. And then at TJ Maxx, I also picked up a sugar-free vanilla bean syrup. I have to order a pump. And then this is my hand mixer from um, Amazon. I'll link it down below. It was like under 12 bucks, I think, which now that I'm looking at the wall, I'm seeing we have to repaint this area. When we finished the grout, it got on the wall. So I'm really happy with this though. It was $29.99. I think that's a great deal. And looking at all this from a distance, I don't think it's too much on the counter. Obviously ignore this guy. He's going to the bathroom. Um, but I feel like on this side, it's not bad. My Nespresso pods go in this container. I think I need to find a smaller one. I just ordered three packs of pods, so I gotta see how full that gets. I will definitely keep you guys up to date with that and what I think of the new Nespresso pods coming. But I think this looks cute. I think it's simple. I hate when I take up too much counter space. I try to keep things super minimalistic, but I feel like it's not too much in this area. But the star of the show, guys, I cannot believe I'm saying this. I got my first fall pumpkin. So this is Heirloom Pumpkin. I love this brand farmhouse that is at TJ Maxx. How beautiful. I mean, seriously, it smells delicious. And this one was $12.99, which is 100% a steal because of how big it is. I'm going to put it in the living room. But I did it. I saw it and I couldn't resist. So I got to put him out somewhere. But anyways, I just want to show you guys this stuff, kind of what I did. I think I got all of this for 64 and I would like to get another syrup, uh, maybe like a hazelnut or something, but the pickings were slim at TJ Maxx, so I definitely got to look at Amazon. But that being said, I want to show you guys some gifts I got for my birthday last week that I thought were super cute. So my best friend Olivia, one of the gifts she got me off of Amazon, I'll link it down below if I can find it, is this bar cart, which I'm so excited about. She came over for um, Mexican like margaritas and I didn't have anything to make cocktails with. And I feel like I've even said that to you guys in the vlog. So she hooked me up with a little kit here. So you see it's got this nice container. I should probably set this up with you guys on camera. That holds everything. And then there's different parts. parts excuse me. So this is the shaker head, um, the shaker bottle, and then the strainer piece and an awesome nice long spoon to mix the cocktails. And then this says, read this first. Oh, this steel is all stainless, but just in case, no rust. Oh, text no rust. Oh, okay, so like a warranty thing. Got it. Pretty cute. Nice packaging. And then this down here, if I can get it. Oh, just thinking. Okay, so this is the brand. I think I said mixology and craft. So exciting. I will put this together when I'm with you guys because I just moved the bar cart upstairs actually. So we can open this. And then my mom got me this adorable Polaroid camera. I'm so excited. This is the, it looks like the Fujifilm Insta X Mini 11 in blue. She got this off of Prime. I know on Prime Day, so I will link this down below. I'm so excited and I can't believe that it does instant pictures. I know the film's expensive, so I'm going to use it when I have special moments, but I thought this was such a good gift. Um, both of these from Amazon, so like I said, I'll link them down below. And then Tyler's So Sweet got me a trip to Raleigh, North Carolina. We've never been, I am so excited to visit. We're going September 23rd to the 25th, so just a nice long weekend. And he did the car and the hotel, which was so nice in the flights. So that was a sweet trip surprise. We try to always get each other something like a trip or, you know, not just a gift um, of like a materialistic item. And then my other girlfriends got me these really pretty flowers. They're a week old. 
and they're actually still doing strong, but aren't these beautiful? They had them delivered to my house. So all of my friends, I had the best birthday ever. Everyone was so nice. We went camping and I didn't vlog anything, but I wanted to show you guys what I got because it was just so thoughtful and considerate, especially when someone has something delivered. It's so sweet. So this is our bar cart situation. It is a little sad. She needs a facelift. It's in the corner of our dining room. So it's kind of like tucked back here, but we try to keep like the most commonly used of what people have when we come over, what we like. And you're supposed to be able to hang glasses right there, as you guys can see. But I like the really long, tall, like big glasses. So they don't necessarily fit well there. Therefore, I gotta get some better ones that fit to have out there. Um, but like I said, we keep some of our stuff here and then I hide one of these, honestly, everywhere. One of these little, I think this is for Breezer Glade. It doesn't say, but it's the honeydew scent. It continuously just gives off um, a good scent. And I hide them all over the house as well as the wall plugins, but she's looking sad and she needs some work. So I gotta build that set and put this here. But we also, I'll show you guys as I dumped the dog water on the ground, have a bar cabinet. So when we custom built this kitchen, we did floor to ceiling really tall cabinets. You guys can see this is massive. And then those are the beams um, through the house. But this entire um, little cabinet thing contains a lot of our alcohol. So I think I'm going to put like, I don't know, maybe these bourbon glasses out and put them on the bar cart. I got to get some of this stuff transitioned over there. Um, I just don't like the look of when it's really junky. But you guys can see, we just have a ton of random things, um, especially things like people gave us. But I feel like I need to put the vodka out. That's a commonly one when we have guests over. And then some shooters. So my mission is to go through this and get this cleaned up. But for now, let's go put together that kit Olivia gave me. Okay, so let's get this open. This was packaged so nicely. It's a really nice quality too, you can tell. And it's got everything you need. So it's got a nice base like this to hold everything. And oh, there's so much more in here. So much more in here. So you've got, I gotta wash all this stuff, but you've got this little shot glass measure. Cute, matches everything else. And this looks like a muddler. Awesome, love that, especially when you make, make like mojitos or something. Wine bottle opener, absolutely needed another one of these. I feel like we always lose them. Tongs, and you're doing ice. All of this, I needed all of this guys. I had literally none of this. And then a wine bottle stopper. I've only had one of these. So this is cool, my baby came with that. And then another one. Or maybe actually these are the spouts that you put in, not a stopper. The spouts you put in things. I could be wrong. So I got two of those. So that's that. And then inside here, I showed you guys. Got the spoon. And then this little guy here. So I think that's all of our goods. Let's move that out of the way. And let's start putting stuff in. So it looks like this guy, how does this work? Oh, it goes like this, I think. Yeah, right? That's pretty cool. That would make more sense. Like this, I think. And then, oops, let's see. Here maybe. Like that. Everything has a home. So we can put these in. I'll be doing this one too. Nice. Here. So you guys can see. These just fit in. I think that goes like that. Yeah. Awesome. And then that goes here. I don't know how this guy goes. This little, maybe these go like that, yeah. Honestly, I don't think it matters, guys. I think you just kind of customize it. Someone's probably watching watching this like, lady, no. Too big. Hmm, I don't know where the 
this spoon goes? I gotta look in. I gotta look at the picture of the thing on Amazon. Um, either way, am I being crazy, guys? Where does this go? Olivia's gonna watch this video and be like, "I showed you how to do this." Um. Anyways, we will figure that out for now. We're gonna leave the spoon out, but it holds everything so nicely. I gotta take all this out and wash it, but let's move it over there, and then I gotta figure out the spoon thing. Cool. We'll clear this out. I've had this bar cart, guys, for I think four years. I'll link it down below. I like it. It's not my favorite, but it's on the job. It was reasonably priced. So that looks really good. And then I'm gonna put this scent thing, I guess, like here. I'll try to hide those, like I said. Take this stuff. And now all my belongings are organized so nicely and it takes up such little space. 10 out of 10 recommend this. Like I said, I gotta figure out the spoon situation. But I like that it's really tucked back and it keeps everything nice and tight together, but it also looks nice when it's all washed. So awesome gift idea if you know someone in your life that needs a bar cart. Even if they're making mocktails, seriously, this stuff, anyone can use it. It's honestly the cutest gift idea ever. I put him here in the bathroom corner, guys. Come on, how cute is that? That looks so good on the sink. And then more of those scent things. I wasn't joking when I said I put them anywhere and everywhere. But I also wanted to talk about this. I showed this in my last Trader Joe's haul. If you guys haven't watched that video, definitely check it out. This stuff is good. I have used it now three times. I haven't broken out. I have left it on overnight and washed it off, but you can also, like, if you have sensitive skin, leave it on for 10 minutes and then wash it off. But this stuff is good. It's like $6.99, Trader Joe's, definitely check it out. And then I talked about this weeks ago, like once or twice, still using this Brazil Nut Body Butter. I just love how convenient it is to open it. And if I get this open, this has lasted me, guys, so long. If you haven't checked this out at your local Trader Joe's, definitely do. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed these little mini hauls and how I put things together. And I'll see you guys in the next video.